This capstone is about creating technology for heterogeneous populations and it's specifically engaging community members that have particular needs and are also experts of people with disabilities. This particular quarter we are focusing on transportation and access to transportation and mobility and so the students have been really engaged in addressing usability and accessibility issues across the board. So our project is one, getting a good idea of what the user's needs are, like I can't go up this steep of a hill. We provide the route planning for them, but we also provide uh, rerouting for them in the case where they come into an unexpected obstacle. And over time, the idea is that maybe we can use this and collect information and build up a very robust kind of data set which we can use to enhance the service even further. One thing the stakeholder pointed out that we didn't realize is that when the user actually tries to select a particular route as blocked in our application, there's not enough kind of feedback to the user. Like, so Blake said, oh, I have no idea what I just clicked. I clicked something. What happens is if you click like even a millimeter off of the path, it just ignores it because it's not on the path. Um, so we made it so that it just um, kind of maps to the closest point on the path that they tap to, so it's a little bit more accessible. How long does it take for you to find an alternate route when you encounter barriers in your path. I have missed buses because the sidewalk was not accessible, or if the accessible path takes a lot longer than, say, working up or downstairs. I like Capstone's courses because I get to create my own project, and you're able to be creative, be really in charge of your own project, and it's a really satisfying feeling to do all this user research, do all this uh, usability testing, and really create something that's yours. So the problem we are trying to solve is that with current resources, it can be really challenging to determine if a stop is accessible to you. The tools that most people use really have no way of knowing if a stop provides the amenities that they need until they go to the stop. And so we built the Polaris product to try and solve that problem. And our main goal is to provide as much information and context to the user so they can make a personal decision about whether or not the stop supports them. We thought it would be helpful to allow users to tag a site with information. Yeah, it, pretty easy to upload an image. Having that feature is really helpful. It ended up being really important for us to talk to our needs expert, Kayla, about what things she encounters at stops that might make them inaccessible so that we're able to work that information into our website that we're showing to people so that uh, the information we're actually giving them is what we're hearing as the most valuable information that these people need. Having the numbers, you know, you can kind of see, well, maybe only one person thought it was a low-quality sidewalk. I really like this. We specifically worked on a project called One Buzz Away, and our application serves as a bus notification system in terms of when the bus arrives at a stop, and once an individual is on a bus, a buzz so they get off at the right stop. Imagine that you're in downtown. You can't hear or see anything. We met up with Bruce Visser which is our needs expert, and he's blind and deaf. Got it. And we learned a lot from him. And we just learned how hard it is to use public transportation currently, or the current solution. So what we do is we use one bus away to track yeah. Yeah. when the bus is coming. For example, tap anywhere to begin. We input 67, and then after it buzzes, meaning the bus arrives, we have, am I getting on the bus? We'll hit yes, a double confirmation just in safety, and then you are 10 stops away, one buzz away. Uh, what I really like about this capstone is how in-depth we go into these issues. I mean, we're only in the class for maybe 10 weeks, but we meet up with our needs expert every two weeks or so, and we talk to them about the real problems that they face, and we try to work the entire time to come up with a real solution to the problem that could actually work in real life. And sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't, but in our case, I feel like we really managed to come up with a great solution that uh, would, would help a lot of people.